Have you ever looked at a puffer fish and thought, wow, what a cute little water balloon? Well, what would happen if that cute little balloon decided to take a bite out of you? Let's dive in. But before this topic numbs your curiosity, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So, you've annoyed a puffer fish. Maybe you got too close and it felt threatened. First off, congrats. You've met one of the ocean's most unique defenders. Their beak-like mouth formed by fused teeth is incredibly strong. It's designed to crush the shells of crustaceans and mollusks, so a bite would definitely hurt. You'd be looking at a nasty wound, significant bleeding, and a high risk of infection from ocean bacteria. But the bite itself isn't the main event. The real headline act is what comes with it. Pufferfish are famous for containing one of the most potent neurotoxins in the natural world, tetrodotoxin. This isn't just to give you a bad stomach ache kind of toxin. We're talking serious, life-threatening stuff. Tetrodotoxin, or TTX, is over a thousand times more powerful than cyanide. The scary part. Just a few milligrams, an amount that could fit on the head of a pin, can be fatal to a human. If you were to get a significant dose, either from a bite or, more commonly, from improperly prepared fugu, the symptoms would start fast. First, you'd feel a tingling or numbness around your mouth, which would then spread to your face and extremities. You might start feeling dizzy, get a headache, and experience nausea. This is your nervous system starting to go haywire. As the tetrodotoxin works its magic, it blocks the sodium channels in your nerve cells. Think of it like a key breaking off in a lock. Your nerves can't send signals to your muscles anymore. This leads to progressive paralysis. Your limbs will feel heavy and you'll lose control over them. Speech will become slurred and swallowing will become difficult. The most critical stage is when this paralysis reaches your diaphragm and respiratory muscles. Your brain will be screaming for air, but your body won't be able to respond. You'll stop breathing, all while remaining fully conscious, which is a terrifying thought. Without immediate medical intervention, specifically mechanical ventilation to breathe for you, respiratory failure is the cause of death. Ace. There's no antidote for tetrodotoxin. Doctors can only provide life support and wait for your body to metabolize and flush out the toxin, which can take several hours or even days. So, while that puffer fish might look adorable and a little clumsy, it's packing some serious, deadly defense mechanisms. They are a perfect example of nature's look but don't touch policy. Cute but incredibly deadly. If you enjoyed this deep dive into ocean science, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing facts. Stay curious and stay safe out there. Thanks for watching.